Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this short video, we will try to understand uh, and we try to learn the methods, how to change the voice, and uh, we will try to understand what is the voice actually and what are its types, and can every sentence can be changed into passive or not, and uh, what type of question may be appeared. Before uh, telling you the rules of conversion from active to passive, it is very much necessary for all of us to understand what the real mechanism of the voice is. Well, class, uh, um, there is uh, what is voice, the very first uh, point to understand. The voice is a grammatical term that describes the relationship between verb and its doer. Now, the another question comes, what is the verb? And another question is that, what is the doer? So let us understand these two terms. Verb is a word that shows an action. Verb is a word that shows an action. You know, language is made up of, made up of words and every word has different functions and different uh, categories. The words that shows actions are called verbs. Verb is a word that shows an action. The next one is doer or agent is a subject that tells who has done the action. Doer again is a subject, and what subject is? Let me explain the subject. Subject, you know, what is a subject? Subject is a word, is a word. It's uh, usually uh, used as a noun. Any name of a person, place, thing, or an idea that does action is called a subject. And there are two types of subject. There are the one type of subject does not an action. They just we talk about it. And the other type of subject is that does real action. For example, active subject and passive subject. What is active subject? The subject that does some sort of action. For example, Sattahe teaches English. If you ask this question to teach, who is teaching? Your answer will come, Sattahe teaches. And what is being taught? It is taught English. So we love our country. Love is an action. So who is loving that country? We. So it's we is a subject. And here, gardener waters the plant. Uh, water is an action. Who is watering the plant? The person, gardener. So this gardener is subject. We is subject. Sattahari is subject. And all these subjects are active. Active subject. They are doer. They are agent. They are doing specific action. But come to this, uh, pass, uh, come to this uh, type of uh, passive subject. The subject that does not do any action. For example, Lahore is a big city. Can you ask this question uh, from this question, Lahore? What kind of action Lahore is doing? No, we are just talking about Lahore. So the subject about which we talk is called, is generally known as passive subject because it is not, it does not do anything. So Sat Pahir is my teacher. Sat Pahir is, I, I'm just talking about uh, my teacher and I'm just telling his, his name. And Sat Pahir is not doing anything in this particular action. So here Sat Pahir is, uh, passive subject, but here Sattahir is active subject because is, is Sattahir is doing some action. So active subject is a subject that does some action and passive subject is a subject that does not do any action. In the, that uh, in that in that sentence, we just talk about that particular subject. We are good people, we is a subject and just we are talking about who are good people, we are good people, but they are not doing any action. Clear? This was the um, idea to know about what is subject and verb. Now, can every type of sentence uh, be changed into passive voice? That is the basic thing we need to understand because we, uh, we cannot change active into passive or passive into active unless we know which sentence is active and which is not, which is passive. So for that, we need to understand two ways to see whether the sentence can be changed into passive or not, where there are two methods, there are two ways. And two ways or um, both come together. They are not separately. They always come together in a, in a, in a logical way. The very first one is active subject. So in the previous, uh, let me show you the previous uh, slide. Here is active subject. And all these active subjects can be changed into passive. But these passive subjects that I mentioned here cannot be changed into passive voice. Clear? So the very first one is, uh, active subject. Active subject can be changed into passive voice. And the another is transitive verb. Transitive verb should be changed or can be changed into passive voice. Now another problem comes, active subjects, we have understand it, what active subject is. Active subject is a subject that is doer or agent and that does, does some action. Transitive verb, what are the transitive verbs? Let us talk about transitive verbs. 
sentence with transitive verbs can be changed into passive wise transitive verb there are some verbs that are used transitively and some are used intransitively transitive verbs need object to complete the sentence it means that uh, the sentence that has object that has subject active subject and a transitive verb only those sentences can be changed into passive voice see this example the teacher explain the issue explain is a verb who is explaining the issue the teacher and what type of what is being explained the issue it means this is subject this is verb this is object so it means that we are having active verb and transitive verb because it has object after it this, this the students forgot the lesson forgot is an action who is who has forgotten the students as usual forget and what is being uh, forgotten the lesson so subject verb object is there the dog eats uh, the cat eats the verb who eats the cat the answer comes the dog the subject and what is being eaten it is cat this is object so subject verb object is there books enable books uh, enable us to live a better life to live better life so enable is a verb who enables us the books subject and to whom it enables us is object so honesty provides satisfaction which thing provides honesty and what is provide satisfaction so subject verb object is there it means that all these sentences can be changed into passive voice here the teacher explains well the teacher explain is a verb and who is explaining the teacher teacher is there subject active subject is there verb is there but this verb does not have object after it that is why it cannot be changed into passive voice the students forgot who forgets the students and what is forgotten kya cheez jo hai bhooli humne kuch bhi nahi hai to altogether ka word hai ye to bata raha hai completely that is also cannot be changed into passive voice the dog eats neatly how dog is is eating it's neatly it's answer the word how it is not giving any what it, Uh, uh, this sentence does not provide us the answer of what ki kya cheez khai ja rahi the dog eats the cat eats the meat to fit ho sakta tha lekin ab kyunki how ka answer aa raha hai lehaza yahan pe object nahi uh, object nahi hai only those verbs can be changed into passive wise those verbs that have object after it so the books are treasure for knowledge books are want they are treasures of knowledge but again are is a linking verb all verbs that starts with all verbs that uh, you know uh, all verbs that are called linking verbs like is am are has have had was were etc are called linking verbs they link, linking verbs cannot be changed into passive voice honesty is again an is is a linking verb and it does not have object uh, in transit this is intransitive so it cannot be changed into passive voice okay it's clear now uh, we are having this uh, slide once again the teacher explains all these sentences can be changed into passive voice into change into passive voice because because it it uh, completes and uh, it fulfills all the uh, provided conditions number 1 what is the condition active subject active subject and what do we mean by active subject means doer 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 means the person or the thing that does some action or the agent second it contains transitive 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 verb and what do we mean by transitive verb the verb that has object that has object and how you can get this thing how you can come to know that whether this uh, a uh, verb has transitive or on transitive just giving you one example and after that we will going to end it just ask this question who does what any word that answer the question who would be called as subject or doer this is will be called as verb and what will be the object the cat the cat eats meat 